Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Campaign Monitor and MailChimp. First I will focus on pricing plans, then I will focus on advantages and disadvantages. I personally see in both of these tools and then just reviews of other people, like what other people think about these tools. Now I'm not paid by Campaign Monitor or MailChimp to say one is better comparing to the other, that you should use that or that one. I'm just going to give you my honest review. And my honest review is that these tools are softwares are okay-ish. They are not amazing and I will show you exactly why. So first thing, pricing. And I compare it to Active Campaign, MailRite, Sending Blue, and others, or even MailGun. So pricing. Campaign Monitor is offering only free trial. They don't have the free account. And if you're gonna have, I don't know, 5,000 subscribers, you're gonna pay for basic account, $50, unlimited $99. MailRite for 5,000, you're gonna pay for all the features that you need, like, I don't know, what's that, 50, $30 for full features in MailRite. Sending Blue is gonna for unlimited $70. Again, Campaign Monitor is expensive. Now, on the other hand, MailChimp is expensive too. If you're gonna have 5,000 subscribers, look at this, on Essential, you're gonna pay $52. On Standard version, like the basic one, you're gonna pay $80. So again, both of these tools are just like thumbs down, I don't recommend using them only because the pricing plan is like ludicrous crazy. And I want to show you the truth. So MailRite. MailRite. Okay. Look at this. For full, full features with better, look at this, better automations comparing to the others. 5000 $30. Look at this. Amazing. Now Sending Blue, let's say Sending Blue pricing is all about uh, how much you're gonna pay, how much you're gonna send emails, 20,000 emails, let's say, $65. But sending blue is also different level with customer support, with qualities, with uh, like automations. With mail right there, amazing. Campaign monitor, I don't know. And let's talk about the features. So, yes, you can create newsletters, you can create pop ups, yada, yada, simple things. And if you want to create uh, automations on both of these, it's not that easy to create or it's too clumsy is the right word. So you can go with a tech edit, abundant card or signups, save starting point. And then you could just add here the workflow. Like you can go else, wait, send email, add or remove that card. It's kind of limited on MailChimp comparing to others. But it's you can you can create it now on campaign monitor. Let me show you. It's similar. So you get the workflow. But if you want to create the automation right here, you don't have any templates on both of these. You don't have like good templates that you can use like in Sending Blue or even MailRite. You can create like okay, subscribe join my list. Then you can do the condition or you can do the delay and email and that's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. It's too simple. It's not advanced. Now, yes, I agree. The campaign monitor is much simpler to learn and master comparing to MailChimp. I need to do the positive, but still, it's okay ish. It's nothing too advanced. Also, I like templates more in campaign monitor comparing to MailChimp. That's for sure. Integrations are all right. There are more than 100 to them, so you can actually test it out. But still, with a high pricing plan, mm, with not that deep automations, I would definitely, if I would be you, check out MailRite or SendinBlue only based on the pricing plan and the quality that you're gonna get. If you want to go hard, go with the active campaign. And the last thing I want to show you is this campaign monitor is 3.4 stars, right? Plenty negative, but also some positive ones. Check it out, but look at MailChimp. 1.7 just no and like right now there is a new upgrade look at this turbo service bad customer support so thank you very much everybody this is the review of mailchimp and campaign monitor and what i think about it have a great day and goodbye